Okay, here we are. Pastor Sunday at Elijah here. Uh, I wonder if anybody is there yet. I'm coming live for the review of the morning show. I hope you could see me. Look, waiting for the most, yeah, for the fastest of viewers. Yes, welcome. I can see the first uh, 20 people here. Yes, uh, how are you? Who is there, please? Will you tell us who you are? Uh, please introduce yourself, please, and let us know who you are. Uh, my name is uh, Sonia Adelaja. I'm coming from Kiev, Ukraine. If you need to write something, please, just write something. Tell us where you are watching from. Rita Cyrilla. Amen. Well, thank you. Where, can you tell us where you are watching from and uh, what time it is in your place? Akimbo Soye Samuel. Hello. Oh, here is my country, I mean, my village girl. Here today. Hello, Pastor Sunday. Hello, here today. Bless you. Uh, praise the Lord, Rita says. Here today is saying, Hello, Pastor Sunday. Charles White is saying, Hi, Pastor. I bought your book. My name is Charles White, Portland, Oregon. Okay, what, Charles, what book did you buy? Is it uh, Kingdom Driven Life or uh, Church Shift? Uh, love says, praise the Lord. Uh, Yetunde says, it's 7 p.m. in England. Yes, 7 p.m. I'm sorry that I came late today. Winnie says, hello, Pastor. I'm Winnie Fred Iyaji. I'm watching from Nigeria. Wow. Well, I want to tender my apology, first of all, for the fact that, you know, like I said, I'm still learning to use this technology. And in the morning, I, I lost... I. <laughs> I lost it somehow. Somebody was trying to get me and, and actually quite a few people were trying to get me on Skype. And so each time the Skype tried to come on, uh, the live program was going off. So I, I could not really finish the program the way I wanted in the morning and it just went off. So I'm sorry for that. But the good thing is that it didn't go off in the, midst of, in the middle of the, of the program. The program uh, was well over. Uh, before it went off so but those who attended in the morning i'm sure they were blessed and they were able to get the program i mean the message and now uh, but now the reason why i came a little bit late is because uh i was doing another program that we call ask pastor sunday maybe some of you actually watched that <laughs> as well so that's the one i was doing and uh so we finished that and i quickly needed to come back here to start this one uh so Charles White says, okay, she read Money Won't Make You Rich. That is the book that I purchased in England, Portland, Oregon. Okay. Yet today says, it's okay. Uh, it's okay. You've just finished another live broadcast anyway. Thank you, Yet today. You are very understanding. Davida says, good evening, Pastor Sunday. Davida from the UK. We would like you to join our Facebook group, Christian Ministry Leaders UK. Oh, you might need to send that to me to my inbox to you i need to send that to my inbox but the problem is that uh yeah send that to my inbox i think i'll be able to do that tokumbo says always good to hear from you sir very refreshing god bless thank you if tokumbo could have told us where he's watching from we would really have appreciated that we will still appreciate it and alice says uh, uh from you she's watching from Uganda from I think Bantu is her name Alice Bantu from Uganda Ben Azram Azran watching from Israel I love from Israel Wow great and uh, who else do we have there uh, we have John beloved saying amen Ario saying uh, watching from Nigeria thank you for these messages thank you Dapa says washing from portacourt wow i have some portacourt in my house from people from portacourt in my house right now uh winnie says i love church shift yeah you can see that winnie has read my church shift book kyle says hello pastor sunday sending you blessings and love from ontario sania ontario or canada wow dennis wright says worship from california wow valerio or valejo then from Israel, right? Akimbo Soyef from Nigeria. Uh, Deal says, Praise the Lord. 
uh, yes, uh, Winnie says she's watching from Nigeria. All right, who else is there? I have a visitor with me tonight, and I would like to introduce him, but let me just introduce you first. June Gasils says his greeting, peace be with you, with us always, including us in your prayers. From Fred, oh, he's calling from writing from uh, Oman, but he's from the Philippines. Okay. Yetunde says, I've got my husband. <laughs> I've got my husband watching with me tonight. Well, greetings. How are you? I, I'm sure that is Mr. Wolesi. How are you, sir? And uh, your, hus your, your wife has been tremendous. She's pro probably one of the most passionate followers <laughs> of this program. And I could guess that she's at the Jebu lady. I told her. And I think she confirmed it. I said maybe the husband is in Jebu too. <laughs> Vida, watching from London. Good to hear the word from you. I enjoyed this morning's message. Thank you. Eve's blessing says, I love you, Pastor. Thank you. Happy Pride Day. What is Pride Day? Uh, well, I don't know about that. Daniel says, more grace is from London. Adewale Timothy says, I praise God for the good work you are doing over there, sir. Hope to meet you over there soon. Okay, we'll be happy to see you here. McDonald says, I love you, Pastor. Thank you. Well, here we go. Uh, let me remind you what we spoke about in the morning. I'm sure those of you who watch in the morning, you f you still remember what we spoke about. Susan St Steve Emmanuel is greeting us from Scotland as well. And okay, Tokumba says it's correct. He's actually writing from London. So anyway, uh, I want to welcome you all of you, and I want to welcome you to tonight's program. It's a review of the fellowship and the message we had in the morning. In the morning, I spoke about the fact that we only fellowship with God when we fellowship with people. There is no fellowship with God if we cannot tolerate people. If we don't want to interact with people, if we don't want to talk with people, if we don't want to communicate with people, we disqualify ourselves from communicating with God. If we are not open to receive people, we disqualify ourselves from being received by God. So for you to fellowship with God, you must first of all show, open your heart to people. How could you fellowship with God that is not here, that is so far from here, when you cannot open your heart to fellowship with a human being that is just near you and that's nearby you? If you are not, your love for God is not good enough to fellowship and relate with human beings. It means you are telling God that way that you don't qualify to relate to, to God. Just like with the rich man, I will use that example in the morning, and Lazarus. The rich man uh, was did not see Lazarus as being qualified to be related or fellowship with because he was too poor. He was using the status of a man to judge if he was qualified to fellowship with him or not. So he disregarded Lazarus. He refused to fellowship with him. Mm -hmm. But when he got to heaven, he discovered that that was a brutal mistake. But it was too late because Lazarus was in a better place. And now he was asking God that God should send Lazarus back to preach to his relatives. And God said, nope. Nope, nope, I'm not going to do that. There are some prophets there on the earth. If your people are too proud to listen to Moses and to listen to other prophets there on earth, then they, they don't, if they will not fellowship with people on earth, they don't deserve to have fellowship in, in heaven. Some of us who will go to church, and in, even in churches, pastors these days only want to fellowship with people who bring the big money. And so, but today, let's talk about uh, the person that is with me. His name is uh, Mr. Israel. He's a child of God, son of God, and <clears throat> is a friend that has been here with me for a few weeks now, just visiting me from Nigeria. Uh, Israel Ojekwa. Israel, what will you say about today's message? Did you listen to today's message, by the way? Did you listen to it? Yeah, I did. Good evening, everybody. I listened to the message, and it was actually awesome, and um, I was blessed. Uh, and I followed you on the message, and I got the I got the the message that was really that you 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 spoke about. We fellowship with people by fellowshipping with God. That means if you don't fellowship with God, you can't fellowship with people. If you don't, the opposite. If you, you don't do, fellowship with people, you don't fellowship with God. You don't fellowship with God, yeah. right? Because <laughs> from what I observe, from my own, um, I try to look at it this way. First of all, Jesus Christ said that where two or three are gathered, 
in my, in my name, name that I am there. Right. So that means he by himself he has considered it that if you want to even talk of having my presence, my presence is in people. So if 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 two or three people are gathered in my name that I am there, he did not say where two-story buildings are mounted or where a big mansion is placed for worship or where four flats is erected for worship. That's where I am. <laughs> he says where two or three are gathered, I am there. Right. And we also know that he also told us that he does not dwell in temples that are built with hands anymore. Right. Right. But he is dwelling now in eating vessels. Right. As far as I am concerned, from what I saw and from what I have come to know, is that God himself places serious emphasis Yes. on people. The whole of the ministry of Jesus Christ, I tried to look at it as you were talking this morning. I was just going around and following you and I, I was just in my spirit. I, I said, everything that God did, yes, all the plan that God brought out, Masha the whole of his ministry is centered on people. So if there are no people, there is no ministry as far as God is concerned. And if there are no people, in fact, the Bible said that Jesus Christ came to die for us. John 3, 16. That for God so loved the world. Is it that God so loved the third road or the electricity or the oceans or the sun? The world that God was talking of here was the creation yes. that he made. Say, yes. for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Yes. So that means God loves people. He wow. wants to show us the extent to which he can commit himself to people. Right. For him to give the best that he has. Right. Just for people and for people to be saved. Then when we look at it from like what you were analyzing about um category of before people. you before you go ahead, sir. sir yeah. Before you go ahead, I want to comment on that. I don't know if I used that scripture in the morning when I was talking about it or not. But I actually wanted to use that scripture. I didn't get there because of the I think I didn't get there. When it says where two or three yeah. are gathered in my name, there I am in their midst. Yeah. The thing that qualifies God to be in their midst is because they have decided to fellowship with each other. Yes. It is a fellowship. When you as a leader, you can gather one or two person or as a family, yeah. when two or three of you can agree, when two or three of you can come together, yeah. God honors your fellowship yes. with his fellowship. Yes. Because you, if two are gathered, it means you have agreed to fellowship together. Yes. That is a fellowship of yes. two together. That fellowship of two proves to God that you are ready to tolerate another man. Mm. You are ready to tolerate his image. Yeah. You are ready to open your heart to welcome another person